Hi there, I'm Tiffany Rodias from the Ghana Revenue Authority. This week, we focus on calculating PAYE using the new income tax threshold and paying advanced taxes as a self-employed person. Focus on GRA begins now. If you're importing a motor vehicle and you need to know what duties and taxes to pay, then these are the recent tax measures that apply to different categories of motor vehicles. Motor vehicles under 1500cc and 4 years old and over attract a flat excise tax rate of $800,000. The rate of customs duty on motor vehicles under 4 years old with an engine capacity less than 1500cc has been reduced from 45% to 35%. Wow. And there is no value-added tax on all electric motor vehicles under four years old. These measures took effect from February 6, 2023. For more information, contact GRA's Tax Advisory Services section, 227-6060, extension 8000. Welcome to Focus on GRA, a program of information for taxpayer education. The passage of the 2024 national budget saw the amendment of the income tax threshold. The threshold went from $85,000 to $100,000 effective January 1, 2024. Tax specialist Sisnarain Ramnarain demonstrates how to calculate PAY with the new threshold. The following are examples of calculation of income tax. Before we get into the calculation, here are some key points to note based on the new threshold that was passed in budget 2024. Number one, income tax is charged at the following rates, 28% and 40%. Number two, current threshold is $100,000 monthly or one third of your gross salary depending on the salary scale. Number three, NIS is 5.6% of gross salary or a ceiling of $15,680 monthly. Number four, medical and life insurance deductible is either the actual premium paid, 10% of gross salary, or $50,000 monthly, whichever is less. So the threshold per period is the daily threshold is $3,228, weekly $23,077, fortnightly $46,154, monthly $100,000, and yearly $1,200,000. Example 1. John Gross monthly salary is $220,000. His medical and life insurance premium paid is $9,850. John threshold is $100,000. His NIS would be 5.6% of his salary and that is equal to $12,320. His medical and life insurance deductible would be the premium paid in this case because the premium paid is the less amount between 10% of his gross salary and $50,000. Here is the calculation of John's income tax. John's salary is $220,000. His deductions are as follows. His free pay is $100,000. His NIS, $12,320. His medical and life insurance premium paid, $9,850. His total deductions is $122,170. His chargeable income is $97,830.
John Tuck's payable is 28% of his chargeable income. That amounts to $27,392. Example 2. Mary's salary is $560,000. Her medical and life insurance premium paid is $60,000. Her threshold is one third of, of her gross salary, which is $186,667. NIS ceiling is $15,680. In this example, Mary's medical and life insurance premium paid would be $50,000. Here's a calculation of Mary's monthly PAYE. Her salary is $560,000. Deductions are as follows. Threshold, $186,667. NIS, $15,680. Medical and life insurance, $50,000. When you add your deductions, the total is you minus your deduction from your gross salary and you have your chargeable income, which is $307,653. So income tax would be calculated at 28% on the first $200,000. That amounts to $56,000 and 40% on the remainder, which is $107,653. That amounts to $43,061. Your total tax is $99,061. This example is a yearly calculation of PAYE, whereby the salary is less than or equal to $3,600,000, including medical and life insurance. The salary is $1,500,000. Deductions are as follows. Free pay, $1,200,000. NIS, $84,000. Medical and life insurance, $50,000. Total deduction is $1,334,000. Chargeable income is $166,000. Tax payable would be $46,480. This example is a yearly calculation of POI whereby the salary is over $3,600,000. In this case, the salary is $3,800,000. Deductions are as follows. Free pay, $1,266,667. NIS, $188,160. The total deduction is $1,454,827. Chargeable income is $2,345,173. Tax payable at the rate of 28% would be $656,648. If you're self-employed, it means that you are your own boss. You have your own business and you set the charges for the goods and services you provide. As a self-employed person, you are assessed for income tax based on your chargeable income. That is, the amount remaining after expenses are reclaimed. Therefore, when submitting an income tax return for a year of assessment 2024, you must submit the following. Income and expenditure or profit and loss statement. Balance sheet of assets and liability. Loss schedule if applicable. Wear and tear schedule if applicable. Certificate of deduction, that is, set off letter or certificate, such as a coal board letter or 2% withholding certificate if applicable. April 30 is the due date for the submission of tax returns and the payment of taxes due and outstanding. For more information, contact GRA's Tax Advisory Services, 227-6060, extension 8000. 
finally, if you are self-employed, you are required to pay advance taxes to the GRA. Mr. Ramnarayan joins us once again to explain more. Hi there, I'm joined with tax specialist Sais Narayan Ramnarayan to answer queries about filing advance taxes. Selena, a cosmetologist, asks, who is required to pay quarterly advance individual tax to the Guyana Revenue Authority? An individual who is engaged in business, trade, or profession in Guyana is required to pay quarterly advance tax. Michael, a self-employed person, asks, how does an individual determine the amount of advance tax to pay? An individual in their fourth year of business must estimate their profits for the fourth year. Calculate the expected taxes, divide that amount by four, and pay quarterly installments. For all subsequent years, they must use the previous year's income reported in their income tax return as the basis for paying advance taxes for the current year. On the other hand, an individual not in their fourth business will need to divide the tax paid for the preceding year by four to determine the amount that must be paid each quarter. Pooja, who owns a small business, wants to know what are the due dates for advance taxes? Self-employed persons are required to pay quarterly advance income tax on or before April 1, July 1, October 1, and December 31. And that is all for this week's Focus on GRA. Remember, you can find a detailed table illustrating how to calculate PAY with the new income tax threshold on the GRA's website, gra.gov.gy. For more information, you can send us your inquiries via email, grapublicrelations at gmail.com or taxadvisory at gra.gov.gy. And follow us on our social media pages for up-to-date tax-related information. Thank you for watching. I'm Tiffany Rodias. Until next time.